I'm Edie Lush and I'm here inside the Hub Culture studio. It's Davos 2019. Really excited to be now, to now talking to Kairat Kalembatov, governor of the AIFC, Astana International Finance Center. Now you've got a really exciting, you've had a really exciting few months, haven't you? Because you opened your doors for business and what happened? Yeah, we opened our doors July 5th. Mm -hmm. So it was the official presentation of Astana International Financial Center of uh, all of our key stakeholders uh, visited us, like NASDAQ, uh, like Shanghai Stock Exchange, Silk Road mm -hmm. Fund, Goldman Sachs International. So we launched the new stock exchange mm -hmm. and Astana International Exchange. It was recently the first IPO mm -hmm. of a huge privatization program in Kazakhstan, 15% mm -hmm. of the uh, shares of the uh, national uranium company Kazatomprom, which is the biggest uh, global producer of uranium, uh, been privatized. It was like first, uh, trade in, in London Stock Exchange and mm -hmm. uh, it was dual listing in, in Astana International Exchange. We expect this year that there also would be few IPOs, so mm -hmm. it's a very good beginning. So already 110 companies been registered in AAFC. Mm -hmm. Expect till the end of this year it should be like 250 companies. So the first uh, big, uh, let's say, institution, it was the China Development Bank. Okay, so that's incredible growth in just a few months. Why do you think uh, people and companies responded so strongly? Yeah, first of all, I think uh, the key idea of uh, uh, President of Kazakhstan was to bring best practice. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one part of the structural reforms in Kazakhstan and the second is establishment of rule of law. Mm -hmm. So in Kazakhstan, the first and the only country in the former Soviet Union which is to uh, implement the rules and principles of English common law. Hmm. The so first and only of the former Soviet the first Union uh, and only to implement yet. English common yeah. law. It's incredible. It, yeah, it took us even to do amendments to the constitutions. Mm -hmm. And now we have a uh, uh, legislation of the best practice of the financial centers in London, Hong Kong, and Singapore, and Dubai. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, we created the dispute resolution authorities. It's We have independent court, completely independent mm -hmm. from the court system uh, in Kazakhstan, and also the International Arbitration Center, which uh, our chief justice is Lord Wolf, is a legendary person in the mm -hmm. UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we believe that all these British judges who are helping us mm -hmm. is really helping to do big legal reform in Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. And what's next? What's the next big uh, reform or moment that you can see that will bring even more to you? Yeah, I think the, uh, the next is we expect that up to the 2020, we should bring 500 companies. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are uh, focusing to develop not only uh, traditional uh, subsectors of our economy, not only, uh, uh, let's say, develop like capital markets, asset management industry, but also new. Mm -hmm. like a fin and fintech development, reg tech development, mm -hmm. green finance. And when we're talking about fintech, it's is, is not only particularly fintech uh, mm -hmm. solutions, but it's like a fin and tech uh, development. So mm -hmm. what we try to bring like U.S. Uh, 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 division like East Coast and West Coast. So we try to bring East Coast and West Coast of the region in Central Asia uh -huh. together. Together. So not unlike uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, one of those. Yes, I think uh, from, from one side, Dubai and Abu Dhabi been was a good benchmark for us. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it's a good example what happened just recently, like mm -hmm. uh, for Dubai it's 20 years, for yeah. Abu Dhabi it's just five years. But uh, it's, it's not a good idea nowadays to copy paste. Right. Because we are living in new realities mm -hmm. now. It's a great changes globally. So it's uh, like um, a, a tech race between global superpowers for uh, artificial intelligence in order mm -hmm. not to be uh, to left behind. So you should uh, succeed in creating great uh, ecosystem, so great platform. It uh, should be the, uh, clear and familiar for the global uh, and international investors from one side and from the other side it should be attractive to the uh, young, talented people locally and regionally. Kyra, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Davos studio here. And I'm Edie Lush.